Welcome into the Graham Miller Show. I'm Sam Murray, joined with head men's soccer coach Graham Miller. And coach, maybe not the results you wanted on paper this past week, but a hard-fought battle, especially in that York scoreless tie game. Yeah, you know, when we looked ahead at the schedule and, um, you know, we were actually supposed to have another team, um, I can't remember who offhand, but, um, you know, York was supposed to play on the Friday night against somebody else and then we both, you know, would have two games. So, yeah, when the schedule came out and we knew it was Gettysburg on the Friday and then turning around and playing York, you know, less than 24 hours later and, and York was obviously rested since they were playing Gettysburg on Sunday, uh, we knew it was going to be tough. So, I mean, the great thing that we took out of it is after a real hard-fought battle against Gettysburg and we took them all the way to the end of the game. Um, you know, we turned around and, you know, gave York, a, you know, an unbelievable game. And I think, you know, they were tiring a little at the end. And, and we, after having a game less than 24 hours, really, you know, it was a big moral victory for the guys. Big moral victory for this program. Yeah, we may not have got the win, but, uh, you know, it was huge for, you know, where we're looking to take this program. Talk about huge in that game. Jake Brown, uh, nine saves back there in net, especially a big one at the end of regulation. I think it was with like 10 seconds left. Yeah, it was uh, It was one of those games where it was just, there was chance after chance either way. I mean, it was, it was I, I mean, I loved every minute of it. It was so intense and really enjoyed it. And, um, you know, we had the chance just before that, D, uh, DR had a chance to, you know, to win the game and the goalie made an unbelievable save. And then, you know, the ball goes down the other end and, um, you know, here's, you know, Jake Jake Brown comes up huge and, and, and just, you know, a collection of saves. And we actually thought we should have had a free kick on Jordan before the shot even happened. But, you know, the referee didn't blow the whistle and Jake has to make the save. So it was, uh, he did really well and, and, you know, bounced back from a tough game the week before and, you know, really, you know, was impressed with his, you know, mental strength to come back from those mistakes he made the week before. I think something, too, to be impressed about is the youth. You have six goals on the season, five of them coming from rookies. Is that is that something that you had planned on coming into this year? I didn't have anything planned for this year. So, no, we just, uh, you know, our goal was obviously to, you know, just increase the reputation of this program, bring the culture back to being positive and, and, and you know, trying to instill a winning mentality. And, and the guys, you know, they have this, you know, never say never attitude. You know, they, you know, we haven't given up. You know, we, you know, the other thing that happened, you know, on Friday night was the, uh, you know, the bus broke down on our way back from Gettysburg. And, you know, we didn't get in until, you know, after midnight. So that's one of the stories that, you know, only I'm sharing here. And, you know, not a lot of people will know about that um, so those guys for a young team you know the adversities happened a couple of tough you know three two losses but they didn't let that affect them against York and you know I think we we got a couple of breaks and we, we made some saves and you know but York also got the break when we hit the bar when Tarek but these young guys are you know they're not you know they're not lying down and, and taking these losses you know and, and just giving up they're, they're keeping going and yeah the, the you know Dylan Hawley getting his first goal and you know these freshmen are really you know really showing a lot of heart and, and I'm proud of them for that. Well the schedule doesn't get any easier for you you welcome Randolph Macon here to Mustang Stadium they haven't allowed a goal all season four games in and they don't allow a lot of shots how is that going to be a tough battle for you guys? Well, you know, maybe we're the first one to get the first goal. Maybe we're the first one to get the, you know, first win against them. So, you know, that's our goal is, you know, we're at home. We're at Mustang Stadium. You know, we've already experienced one loss here. We don't want that to happen again. So, you know, we've got to take it to Randolph Macon the same way we would any team here and the same way we any team home or away. And, you know, these guys, it's, I think it's always great to, you know, to, you know, to play again, play these tough teams that we're going to, you know, face in conference. Like, you know, this is going to be similar to, you know, coming up against Messiah or like homing, like homing hasn't given up much either. So let's, let's see this test against Randolph Macon and see how we handle it. So yeah, we're excited for it. I mean, we, you know, we love to play tough competition and, and we'll be ready tomorrow night. And then just to wrap things up, you then go back on the road. You're at Catholic on on Saturday, just talk a little bit about that matchup as well. Yeah, Catholic's another one that um, will be another tough one. And, and you know, you know, even though I didn't put this schedule together, this is my schedule. You know, I say it, you know, all along. This is, you know, it is my team. It might not be my team because I didn't recruit them, but it's my team. It's my schedule. You know, it's our program. We're going to we're gonna do the best we can. So, you know, uh, Catholic plays St. Mary's on Thursday. So they've got a tough one against St. Mary's on Thursday, and we'll be able to watch that. And then, obviously, we turn around and play them on Saturday at their place. And, you know, they're just coming off. They had a really good result on Sunday where they tied Haverford, who was number 18, and tied the 1-1 up at Haverford. So, you know, they're another tough team, and that's okay because that's what we need to do to get better and, and compete with these tough teams. Well, we wish you the best of luck. Uh, hopefully a few horns Wednesday night too. That would be nice. Thank you. He's Graham Miller. I'm Sam Murray. You've been watching The Graham Miller Show.